in this video. Five quotations from an inspector calls that tell us something about moral or legal responsibility. And how many times does Mr Burling express himself angrily? We've been counting. We'll start with this quote from Mr Burling in Act 1. He thinks that he's given the inspector all of the evidence that is needed, but instead the inspector turns his attention to Sheila. And yes, look at the opening stage direction. This is the second instance of Mr Burling talking angrily in the play. Look here, inspector. I consider this uncalled for and officious. I've half a mind to report you. I've told you all I know, and it doesn't seem to me very important. Mr Burling doesn't feel any sense of moral responsibility towards Eva Smith. As far as he's concerned, he hasn't broken the law, and therefore he can't understand why the inspector won't just leave. His threat to report the inspector is in keeping with this. He sees things in black and white legal terms. He wonders if the inspector is allowed to ask him and his family these questions. And he doesn't see them in terms of whether or not someone else has suffered because of him. Nice short quote next from Gerald in Act 1. We're respectable citizens and not criminals. Here Gerald makes the assumption that respectable citizens never commit crimes. In his world, only the working class break the law, whilst the upper classes are above all of that. Or so he thinks. Three more quotes on the way, but don't forget that if you find our video content useful, then like, subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications of new content as it arrives. This following quote comes from Act 2. Mrs Burling has just said what she thinks should happen to the young man who made the girl pregnant in the first place. The inspector reiterates her comments. No hushing up, eh? Make an example of the young man, eh? Public confession of responsibility, hmm? The inspector uses rhetorical questions to taunt Mrs Burling, knowing that with every word she has just said, she has incriminated her own son without realising it. There are repeated references to public shaming here, no hushing up, make an example, public confession, because the inspector knows that the only thing that drives the Burlings is their reputation for being law-abiding citizens, and certainly not their sense of moral responsibility for wider society. In Act 3, after it has been revealed that the inspector was some sort of a fake, Eric says this. He was our police inspector, all right. Eric uses the pronoun our here, demonstrating that he's not really bothered whether the inspector was genuine or not. He still considers that the family's personal moral responsibilities to others have been put through a thorough inspection, whilst recognising that they're not being penalised for breaking any laws. Finally, here's Mr Burling in Act 3, thinking that everything is okay again. Jovially. But the whole thing's different now. Come, come, you can see that, can't you? The stage direction angrily is used for Mr Burling 18 times throughout the play. During all of these times, he and his family are being shown how they have failed to take responsibility for their wider community. 
and Berlin can't bear it because he doesn't get it. It's only when Berlin thinks that there are no legal repercussions for him or that no damage will be done to his reputation that we get the stage direction here jovially, meaning in a jolly way. You can find this information in written form in our and Inspector Corps Revision Guide, which you can purchase at the link in the video description. There are also a whole load more revision videos on our YouTube channel. Please check those out. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.